All right. Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Monday, everybody, on this lovely May 14th. How's everybody doing? Good to see you all. All right. Good, 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 everybody. New week, everybody. Brand new week. Hopefully, everybody's excited. A lot going on this week. Craig, good to see you. Judy, Mark, Gene, Dana, Donna. Jonathan, David, good to see you. Frank, George, all right. And welcome all the new cyber traders that are here starting on Fresh on Monday. Got a lot of people are starting this week. Hopefully, you guys are going to get ready for it. Uh, time to change your life to make you realize why this is one of the greatest jobs in the world. But to do that, you have to be able to be proved that, um, that it is as, as successful as people say it is. Then not here. The negativity people says, oh, you do, you're going to lose all your money. And this is basically what we're going to kind of prove to you this week. So like uh, like our buddy Grant always has to say, just sit back, look, listen, and learn, all right? In the meantime, everyone, um, big, big, big week this week. Last week, you had phase one and phase two. Uh, we got phase three that's starting tomorrow. So uh, that's when you guys are going to trade side by side with me. And we're going to take everything we've learned and put it to the test. Once again, this only applies to gold and platinum students and diamonds. So uh, just make sure, you know, you get in there and remember even you know you'll and the great thing is if you are a beginner you'll see how many people keep retaking it because the more you come there different mark conditions different situations that's how you become very good at it all right and then uh, and then don't forget tomorrow we have traders talk on Tuesday now for all the new members that are starting here just give you a heads up because I want to get right into it please make sure you talk to your education advisor so he tells you exactly what you're going to get what you need to see because you need to make a decision if this is for you or not and let me tell you on your first day you realize it you know you've been trading blind for the past how long you've been doing it um 80 of your trades been backwards so you know once again you'll see that when we start trading just watch the traders don't watch me okay now regarding about what happened uh last week of what we've done uh what you could see here right on the screen really quick is uh the big winner of on friday was here here was just hands down phenomenal phenomenal winner you know listen stock went from 11 to 18 it was it had a big big run up for a while uh we've been trading for the past month stock went from four to eight went about 100 percent, and then just kicked into high gear uh it started getting a little nasty you know, once we got around the 1030 time frame, you know, it had some nasty shakes here and there. But overall, a lot of people did really, really well. Now, I just want everyone to know that this that a lot of the traders did not make seven dollars on the trade. OK, that's not a good trader. If you got, if you made seven dollars on this trade, you were actually a bad trader. And I'll tell you why. Great traders never buy at the bottom or sell at top. We always buy in between because if you always think you're going to buy at the bottom, sell at top, you're going to end up losing more than you win. It's all about just following the momentum. So we had a lot of great winners here. Uh, guys, just give like D David. David made two dollars and 50 cents on that trade. I mean, that, that is a big, big winner for him. Let's give him a round of applause. I'm just kind of remembering off the top of my head. Steve, he made a buck 88 on that trade. I mean, that that's huge. Guys. If you do the math, you buy a thousand shares of that stock. Okay, Dave makes two fifty. That's twenty five hundred times that over the course of the year. Half a million dollar job. Who doesn't want that? So uh, that's what trading is all about. And you know, then there was a couple other ones that did pretty well. Um, we're gonna look at a few of them now. But the IQ was also great. We've been doing great with that trade. You can see one from 17 all the way up to 23. Um, took a little bit of a – had a great pre-market. It's up a little big. It's been doing good as our swing trade. And there are a couple other ones that also. But I want to bore you what happened last week. Listen, that is – in the history books now let's focus on what's going on for today so there are quite a few things now remember it is a Monday so with a Monday remember we have to be very very careful of what we trade on Mondays because a lot of things are not go oh, that, a lot of news didn't come out over the weekend um, obviously the big news today is the embassy opening up in in Israel uh, you know listen that could spark certain stocks that could move um, I know I heard another tweet from uh, Trump that he's going to something about China saving some, you know, telephone company. Listen, it might affect other stocks. So anyway, the, you know, you got to keep you got to keep up with the times and what's going on. Amazon's going to be talking, I think, in the next day or two regarding about where they're going to open up their new uh, second headquarters. That's big, big news. So there's a lot going on and we're going to focus on. Yes, I do see that, uh, Andrea. Um, hopefully everybody got it. But that was a big, big winner right now. And uh, the SYMC, I'm going to bring that up right now. So the SYMC, let me just bring that up because 
as all of us uh, should have been doing now is let me just bring up the time frame to a one minute chart. Uh, this stock has been a great, great pre-market. Who, who got it? You got it. A lot of people should have got it. Um, you could see the huge iceberg orders here on the offer. They got hit big time. 20,000, 77 thousand I saw, I saw big orders getting hit um two million shares traded everyone should have been here around 8 30 this morning everyone should be in it around twenty dollars and forty cents stocks at 2105 just started to make a big move not only less than a couple of minutes ago um why is this stock up people are asking well listen this stock got destroyed uh this stock was a, a, a basically a 29 dollars stock opened up all the way down to 19 got decimated and this is called a bottom fish so you know yes it's not in the big percentage gainers but it is you know well actually it is starting to make it up there right now actually number 11 on the list but um but yeah i know a lot of us are doing really good on this one so good job guys so it's, it's all about the pre-market right think about it if you logged in here at 8 30 this morning right at nine o'clock and if you bought it like most traders in here in the cyber group room and you got in at 2040 you sold it at 21 you made 60 cents what more do you need right i could call the end of the day and says you know what yeah you know what i'm not looking to go to 22 24 you know what i made my 500 600 there's my there's my hundred thousand dollar salary 30 minutes that's why we are what we preach the two hour day trader here at cyber Train university so there's your big winner right there as of right now now listen i always have a I always have a thing i tell you guys you know if you can't buy it you know if you, you know if you, if you feel like you chased it buy one share Buy one share. I know Ken was joking around the other day. He's up to 10 shares, you know, and we know that's not true. But, you know, it's funny. You know, listen, buy one share and eventually you go to 10 and 50 and 100 and 300 and 1,000. And then you'd be like some of the bigger traders. You get to 3,000, 5,000. But if you can't even feel comfortable trading one, you'll never get comfortable trading 1,000. But you got to be in it to win it. So anyway, that's right now is the biggest winner right now in pre-market. It's always nice to start the Monday mornings uh, this, uh, this profitable. Now, there are a couple other ones I want to put on the watch list. ACIA is another one that's making some good move this morning. Uh, you can see it's up 17%, 162,000 shares traded. Not a lot of iceberg orders out there. I'm looking at here on the matrix. I really don't see that much out there. So that's the only thing that's been turning me off uh, regarding about this position. Also, the spread is kind of a little uh, shaky. So far, the SYMC is the best one uh, in the pre-market. Uh, the X NXPI. Is another one I found this morning that's got some good movement. Now, I'm just going to bring this up just to talk about it really quick because here's a stock that was $120 less than about two months ago. Stock got destroyed. It's got, you know, obviously it's making back a lot of its profits. So um, we're not trading $100, $100 stock. I know there are people out there that are going to do it. Listen, dollar for dollar, I'd rather trade SYMC and it's, it's five times less. And it's got better volatility in it. So anyway, that's where that comes in. I just wanted to bring that up. Just throw it out there. OCLR. That one just came up on my radar, radar too this morning. Uh, up 8%, 48,000 shares. Getting some good orders out here already in pre-market. Spreads pretty decent right there. Looks like a level two stock. Um, TMDM. I'm sorry, I spelled it wrong. TNDM. Okay. So this stock... Um, it's been a good swing trade. It, it stock uh, has been moving up really nicely. It wasn't just less than a month ago. It was at four. It's already popping up to nine. It's up 6%. I don't know if it's going to be a good day trade. It, it did pretty well on Friday. It went up pretty nice and smoothly, but the those those candles right there, you know, tell me that it was a little bit more volatile and probably – than, than I would think. I don't know how it traded, but I would like to see how it opens up. But it looks like more of a swing trade. We're throwing that out there. Uh, the HTBX. Who remembers this stock, dude? Oh, my God. Remember this? We traded went from a dollar to $4. We had so much fun with this stock right here. Um, I was going back and just looking at my, 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 my uh, journals that I told you guys about. Uh, how we, we teach in class, we covered it. But you guys remember this one, right? Well, guess what? She's building up a little momentum right now. So I, I think we got a sleeper right here. Let's keep an eye on this HCBX. Maybe you're going to get a lot of the, you know, the high frequency or, you know, program trading at a kick in, which which happened uh, on that day. So it might it might happen. Listen, we'll see how it opens up. MYO, that's another one made up, made the Fausta watch list right there. Here's a stock up 29%, 300,000 shares traded, $4 stock. It had some good pre market around 830, went from 360 up to 430, a hell of a lot 
cheaper than the SYMC trade. You know, you're talking even five times less than that one. And let me tell you, I'd rather trade M, uh, the MYO than the NXPI at $100, right? It's all about risk to reward. Look for the resistance. Looks like she's testing it right now. Got good iceberg order, 5,000 share order right there at 415. I want to see what that guy does, but that one looks pretty good. And then obviously the SYMC, guys, look, she still keep going. Beautiful trade. We're up already a buck. Uh, since we talked, it went up about 15 cents. You know what? If you chased it, you bought it at 21, you're doing pretty well. All right, so that's basically what we got going on. Anything I'm missing, cyber traders, that I did not call out? Um, okay, well, Andre is just doing a call out. He says he bought, he's up about 60 cents right now. Uh, he's in about 2042 because Andre was here early, and that's what we say early bird gets a worm. But he said he'd like to thank Dana and Lita for the call out. So, guys, let's give those two a round of applause. That's what teamwork is all about. Remember, it's not about me. It's about you guys know how to play the game. Listen, I'm just here to teach you how to play the game. All right? I'm not here to tell you what to buy and sell. I'm here to show you how to play the game. We're here to host everything, and uh, and you can see it's all about you guys picking it up. Uh, Jonathan is asking me, what about what do you think of the uh, the CLM trade? You know, the CLM is on a downtrend. Looks like a really nice short as of right now. The stock, you know, you could see it here in the long term. Had a nice little push. I like it. I like it. I'll throw it on there. It's going to be a decent call. I don't, we'll see how she opens up. She's not down huge, but, um, you know, it was funny. I was talking to somebody the other day, and they were asking me, hey, do you short? I'm like, are you kidding me? I love shorting. Whatever goes up comes down twice as fast, you know? Um, and that was one of the things I wanted to bring up with the NXPI. NXPI, um, actually, this chart is not a really good-looking chart. Uh, let me change the day. Let me do a weekly chart. Yeah. So look at this stock right here. In less, in, it took a year to go to 80 to 125. It took a month to go from 125 back down to 90. So yeah, we love shorting. Ken, so shorting is awesome. It is. It is. And let me tell you, it only became a lot awesome when it got rid of the, the down tick rule. All right. All right. So listen, um, market's opening up in 15 minutes. So hopefully everybody's doing great on certain positions in pre-market. That's what it all it's all about. That's what we preach here. That's what we do. Less risk, more reward. So um, listen, I know we have a lot of new trial members that are starting. Make sure you talk to Education Advisor. And listen, if you missed what happened so far, don't worry. At 930, there'll be a new list of stocks that are coming up. By the way, let me just bring up that SYMC because she is doing great. YouTube players are gonna look gonna love this one. Um Whatever you missed, don't worry about it. There'll be a new list of stocks that come up. Just be very careful. It is Monday. And don't forget, classes, busy, busy week. Tomorrow, Wednesday, I'm doing phase three. You're going to be trading side by side with me. I'm going to teach you the secrets. And we're going to have, we're going to work together like a team. But remember, it's all about education. You know, this just pays the bills. All right? But you got to learn before you can earn. And don't forget, traders talk tomorrow. All right, guys? Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. See you back at 2.30 for the afternoon meeting.